Subscribe the channel Learn Odisha Learn and press the bell icon to get all notifications. In this video, you can learn the basic concept of trigonometry meant for class 9 and 10 of CBSC, ICSC and other medium students as well as teachers. This video includes meaning and definition of trigonometry, trigonometric ratios or trigonometric functions and their definitions which are also called the doors of trigonometry then relations between trigonometric ratios that includes inverse relations square relations and quotient relations and finally the proofs of all relations let's enjoy the video trigonometry first we'll learn meaning and definition of trigonometry see here the word trigonometry is derived from three Greek words tri, gon, and matron. Tri means three, gon means sides, and matron means measure. This is the meaning of trigonometry. Then the definition. Trigonometry is the branch of mathematics dealing with the relations of the sides and angles of triangles and with the relevant functions of any angles. Hipparchus is called father of trigonometry. Then trigonometric identities. Trigonometric identities are the equalities involving trigonometric functions and are true for every value of the variables. Trigonometric function or trigonometric ratio. Trigonometric function is a function of an angle expressed as the ratio of two of the sides of a right triangle. Trigonometric ratio is also called T ratio. Each trigonometric ratio is a real number and each trigonometric ratio has no unit. Details about the trigonometric functions. There are six trigonometric functions namely sin, cosine, tangent, cotangent, second and cosecant these are the trigonometric functions in short sin is written as sin sin cosine is written as cos cos tangent is written as tn tan cotangent is written as cot cot second is written as sec sec cosecant is written as cosec cosec and when they are written with any angle theta then sin will be written as sin theta cosine will be written as cos theta tangent will be written as tan theta cotangent will be written as cot theta and so on then reciprocal ratios what are reciprocal ratios see here cosec theta sec theta and cot theta are called reciprocal ratios of sin theta cos theta and tan theta respectively reciprocal ratio of sin theta is cosec theta and reciprocal ratio of cosec theta is sin theta that means sin theta and cosec theta are reciprocal ratios of each other like this cos theta and sec theta are reciprocal ratios of each other and tan theta and cot theta are reciprocal ratios of each other then poor ratios or complementary ratios cos theta cot theta and cosec theta see here cos theta cot theta and cosec theta are called complementary ratios of sin theta tan theta and sec theta complementary ratio of sin theta is cos theta and complementary ratio of cos theta is sin theta that means sin theta and cos theta are complementary ratios of each other Similarly, tan theta and cot theta are complementary ratios of each other and sec theta and cosec theta are complementary ratios of each other. Definition of each trigonometric ratio. Before discussing definition, first we have to get the idea of a right angle triangle. See here, ABC is a right angle triangle where measurement of the angle P is 90 degree. Let the measurement of angle A be theta. As B is 90 degree, the side opposite to 90 degree is AC and hence 
AC is hypotenuse. As the angle A is theta, so BC is side opposite to angle theta. And side AB is adjacent to angle theta. These are the trigonometric ratios of angle A. They are written with theta. And these are the definitions. First, sin of angle A. That is written as sin theta. And its definition is side opposite to theta divided by hypotenuse. So we have to remember here when sin theta or sin of any angle will be given, we have to take first side opposite to that angle divided by hypotenuse. Here theta is the angle, so side opposite to theta is BC and hypotenuse is AC. Then cosine of angle A, that is cos theta. Its definition is side adjacent to theta divided by hypotenuse. Side adjacent to theta is AB and hypotenuse AC. So it is AB by AC. Then tangent of angle A or tan theta. Its definition is side opposite to theta by side adjacent to theta. That is BC by AB. Then cotangent of angle A. That is cot theta. It is side adjacent to theta divided by side opposite to theta that is ab by bc then second of angle a or sec theta it is hypotenuse divided by side adjacent to theta that is ac by ab then cosecant of angle a that is cosec theta it is defined as hypotenuse divided by side opposite to theta that is ac by bc now we will discuss about relations between trigonometric ratios or basic trigonometric formulae. First, inverse relations or also called reciprocal relations. There are three inverse relations. First relation sin theta into cosec theta is equal to 1. From that we can get sin theta is equal to 1 by cosec theta and cosec theta is equal to 1 by sin theta. Second relation is cos theta into sec theta is equal to 1. From that we can get cos theta is equal to 1 by sec theta and sec theta is equal to 1 by cos theta. Third one is tan theta into cot theta is equal to 1. From that we can get tan theta is equal to 1 by cot theta and cot theta is equal to 1 by tan theta. See here proof of these relations. First one was sin theta into cosec theta. You know sin theta is BC by AC. See here sin theta is BC by AC. So BC by AC is written here. Then cosec theta is AC by BC. Cosec theta is AC by BC. AC by BC is written here. So BC and BC can be cancelled. Then AC and AC can be cancelled. That is equal to 1. So this is the first relation. Then second one is cos theta into cos theta into sec theta. Cos theta is AB by AC. Cos theta is AB by AC. Sec theta is AC by AB. AB and AB get cancelled. AC and AC get cancelled. That is equal to 1. Tan theta. Third one is tan, tan theta. Tan theta into cot theta. Tan theta is BC by AB. And cot theta is AB by BC. BC, BC get cancelled. AB, AB get cancelled. That is equal to 1. Then square relations. There are also three square relations. First one is sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. Note that whole square of sin theta is written as sin square theta. Similarly, whole square of cos theta is written as cos square theta and so on. Second one is sec square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1. And the third one is cosec square theta minus cot square theta is equal to 1. So the first square relation is sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. From that relation we can write sin square theta is equal to 1 minus cos square theta. When cos square theta will come to right side it will be minus. So 1 minus cos square theta is sin square theta. And sin theta is equal to square root of 1 minus cos square theta because in the left side we have taken the square root of sin square theta that is sin theta. So at right side we have to take square root of 1 minus cos square theta. 
then cos square theta is equal to 1 minus sin square theta because cos square theta is equal to when sin square theta will come to right side it will become minus 1 minus sin square theta and square root of cos square theta is cos theta so cos theta is equal to square root of 1 minus sin square theta and the second relation is sec square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1 from that relation we can write sec square theta is equal to 1 plus tan square theta because minus tan square theta will come to right side it will become plus so sec square theta is equal to 1 plus tan square theta so sec theta is equal to square root of 1 plus tan square theta and tan square theta is equal to sec square theta minus 1 see here when tan square theta will come to right side it will become positive then when 1 will come to left side it will become negative so sec square theta negative 1 sec square theta negative 1 is equal to tan square theta because tan square theta has come to the right side so tan square theta is equal to sec square theta minus 1 so tan theta is equal to square root of sec square theta minus 1 and the third one is cosec square theta minus cos square theta is equal to 1 from that we can write cosec square theta is equal to 1 plus cot square theta and cot square theta is equal to cosec square theta minus 1 like the second relation see the proof here first one is sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to sin square theta we know sin theta is bc by ac so sin square theta is equal to bc by ac whole square then cos theta we know ab by ac so cos square theta can be written as whole square of ab by ac so bc by ac whole square is equal to bc square by ac square plus ab square by ac square in these two fractions denominator is ac square so we keep denominator as ac square bc square is added to ab square bc square plus ab square is ac square how according to pythagoras formula in a right angle triangle square of base plus square of perpendicular is equal to square of hypotenuse so ab square plus bc square is equal to ac square and from this relation we can get ac square minus ab square is equal to bc square and ac square minus bc square is equal to ab square so here instead of bc square plus ab square we can write ac square now ac square and ac square get cancelled that equals to 1 similarly second relation sec square theta minus tan square theta sec theta is ac by ab so sec square theta is whole square of ac by ab tan theta is bc by ab so tan square theta is whole square of bc by ab now ac square by ab square minus bc square by ab square taking ab square as denominator now ac square minus bc square according to pythagoras theorem ac square minus bc square is equal to ab square so ab square by ab square get cancelled that equal to 1 similarly third relation cosec square theta minus cot square theta cosec theta is ac by bc so cosec square theta is whole square of ac by bc and cot theta is ab by bc so cot square theta is whole square of ab by bc now ac square by bc square minus ab square by bc square bc square bc square two denominators same so we take bc square as denominator here ac square minus ab square ac square minus ab square according to pythagoras theorem is bc square so bc square by bc square now bc square bc square get cancelled and that is equal to one now we will see the quotient formula or quotient relation there are two quotient formulae first one is sin theta by cos theta is equal to tan theta and the second one is cos theta by sin theta is equal to cot theta now see the proof first sin theta by cos theta is equal to we know sin theta is bc by ac and cos theta is ab by ac so bc by ac whole divided by ab by ac bc by ac bc by ac is written here and divided by ab by ac will be equal to into ac by ab that means ab ab by ac will be reversed ac by ab into ac by ab now ac ac get cancelled and we got bc by ab but we know bc by ab is tan theta so that is equal to tan theta then second question formula cos theta by sin theta 
कस थीटा इज ए बी बै एसि बै सैन थीटा इज बीसी बै एसि ना ए बै एसि इंटु बीसी बै एसि वि रिभर्स एसि बै बीसी एसी एसि गेट कैनसल ए बी बै बीसी दैट इज ए बै बीसी ना वि गेट ए बी बै बीसी बट ए बै बीसी इज कर्थीटा सो दैट इज इक्वाल टू कर्थीटा 